Why should you learn to see the aura? Well, other than it's a pretty cool experience to be able to see something that most people think doesn't even exist or is invisible, science has proven that subtle energies affect us whether we want to believe in it or not. Energy is everywhere. Good energy, bad energy, and if you can tune into energy and see it like the aura, then you can affect how this energy impacts you in your life. So here we go. Here's how to see the aura, and here's how to see it on someone else. What you want to do is ask them to stand about 10 feet away, and they should stand on something like what I have, which is a plain white or a plain black background. And basically what you want is you just want something without any patterns, because that's going to make it harder to see the actual aura. Next look at the person's nose right about here and you want to look with a relaxed gaze that means you don't want to stare don't look at the nose because the nose isn't the aura what you want to do is you want to stare at the nose and then with the relaxed gaze use your peripheral vision the peripheral vision basically means looking out of the corner of your eyes here's the cool thing your eyes are curved which means that they can see a different spectrum of light on the side on the corner of your eyes than you can head on so what you'll first see around their head and shoulders is basically a transparent fog. Here's the thing. The aura when you first see it appears very transparent. Have you ever gone out on a hot day and you're looking at a car or a sidewalk and you'll see those heat waves kind of like shimmering? That's what it'll look like. But it's just going to be barely just an inch to maybe half an inch just off their shoulders and around their head. Once you catch it, you just want to keep your gaze relaxed. Don't get excited and stare right at it because then it's probably going to disappear. Okay, so once you catch it, just quietly observe it, just watch it, and just notice it. It's like you're just studying it. And as you begin to study it, that's when the aura is going to start to grow brighter and to come more into focus. Now, if you're looking at their nose and you're trying to use your peripheral vision and you can't quite catch it, move your vision from right at their nose to the center of their forehead just a slight movement up. Sometimes just that slight movement is all it takes to just catch it just for the first time. Because what you're trying to do is just notice it, and once you notice it, just to stay on it until you can see that it changes just a little bit. Some people can see the aura right away, others take a few minutes. Don't be discouraged, anybody can see it. Now this is probably something that for sure is gonna happen. At some point, you're gonna be seeing the aura, you're gonna be practicing with it, and you're gonna blink. And when you blink, it's going to completely disappear. Don't panic. This happens to everybody. Here's the funny thing, is that your mind, your consciousness, is plugged into your brain and your body, right? Whenever you blink like that, it tells your consciousness to reset. So remember, because you're watching the aura, you're tuning into that frequency of energy. As soon as you blink, it drops you back down to where you were before. The more you practice, the less this is going to happen. But in the beginning, it is going to happen. It happens to everybody. Just practice and you'll get your way through it. Now let's say you're by yourself and here's how to practice seeing your own aura. We're going to start with your hand. And so what you want to do is, just like with a person, you want to find a plain background. White, black, whatever. And you want to extend your hand in front of you. Now you want to soften your gaze and actually you want to stare right at the center of your palm. Kind of like you're looking at the per person's nose. So you're looking at it but in a relaxed way. And you want to look around the edges of your hand and your fingers. And ever so slowly, you want to start squishing your fingers together and then spreading them apart. And just see if you can notice an outline around your fingers. Just squish them together and then spread them apart. And if you squish your fingers together, then just start moving your hand like you're waving at yourself, just kind of slowly side to side. And it's the same thing just like with a person, is you're just trying to notice that faint outline first. And once you catch the outline, sometimes the movement helps, but once you catch that faint outline, you want to stop, and then you just want to, in a relaxed way, just focus on trying to bring the aura more into view. The movement is just trying to get the aura to move into just the right spot in your peripheral vision, and then sometimes you'll notice it just kind of pops right out. And here's the cool thing. You can also do it with your foot. And I used to do this all the time when I was lying in bed. I'd wake up in the morning, you know, 15 minutes early, and I would just move my foot, and I would just twist it back and forth, and I would look at the aura around my toes and study my foot. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to be able to see energy in the air. Here's the cool thing. It's not really in the air. It's everywhere. So you're going to learn how you can see energy everywhere. If you're able to see the aura, share your excitement. Include a comment below telling us about it. Then join us on Facebook.
That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So what if I was to tell you that not only is everything energy, and so life is kind of an illusion. It is a virtual reality. It is a hologram. It is kind of the matrix because everything is energy. And that I can't just tell you that, but I can prove it to you because I can teach you how to see energy and that energy is everywhere. If you want to know the real truth, you have to experience it for yourself. There is no cheating there because when you can see it and you can see it with your own eyes, a profound transformation begins because there you are and it's alive and it's real and it's right in front of your face. You begin to see reality for what it is, not because you think it, but because you know it. And it's so simple, it's almost funny. But here it is. Step one, you want to start by turning down the lights. Get yourself in a slightly dark, dimly lit room. Now, you want to close your eyes for just a second, and you want to visualize bright white light, which is energy, prana, filling the entire room. And you want to visualize it almost to the degree that you can feel it if you can't actually feel it. And so when you see the energy in the air, you want to inhale. And as you inhale, you want to pull that energy into you. You want to absorb it. So inhale and pull the energy in. And exhale. And you want to do this three times. So close your eyes, visualize the energy, inhale, exhale, inhale, pull the energy in, and now open your eyes and you want to look around the room. You can also look straight ahead. But the main thing is, is you want to be relaxed and you want to use your peripheral vision. And so that means you want to look at what's most in the corner of your vision, not what's straight on. If you've been practicing seeing the aura, you're actually going to find this is going to be easier. So next step is looking around. You want to try and notice a slight static in the air. It's going to look like a bunch of little dots or a bunch of little pixels, kind of like the old TV stations before cable and not the wavy lines but just these little, little pixelated points and you're gonna see it kind of floating in the air but of course it's not actually in the air it's everywhere and so you're just gonna try and look for this static now it might help if you look at a blank wall or something that's very plain maybe like a couch or your floor even the static is gonna look like it's over everything it's gonna look like a texture like a layer now if you're having trouble seeing it you actually want to turn your lights down even darker. Try even pitch black. Sometimes in the pitch black, the static's going to pop out. The trick is, is first noticing it. Once you notice, you want to actually breathe in with your eyes still open that energy and then try and increase your vibration. What you're basically doing is you're trying to get your mind to tune more into the energy, which is going to make the static seem brighter and thicker. It's not because the energy itself is actually getting thicker, but it's because your mind is actually tuning more into that frequency of energy, which makes it appear brighter to you. So one thing we're going to do right now is we're going to apply a special effect on the video, and it's going to make the static come out so you can get a better sense for exactly what it is you're looking for. Another thing to look for is once you can start to see the static, try turning all the lights off. And what you might notice is as you're looking at the different particles is that you might notice that they have color. Some are slightly blue and some are slightly red. And just like the aura, the more you practice seeing the static in the air, the brighter it's going to get, the easier you're going to notice it. Even in broad daylight, you'll be able to see this static energy everywhere. Once you begin to enter into this energy reality, things won't play by the same set of rules. You might notice that walls begin to breathe and sometimes things will even appear translucent or transparent. And that's because you're tuning in more as things truly are, as energy and not physical objects. More than likely, you've probably seen energy in the air before, most likely when you were younger, but you taught yourself to ignore it. So try and bring it back. 
when you combine this with seeing the aura, the two accelerate each other, so try working with both at the same time. If you like this video and you're able to see the energy in the air, please share your experiences, comment below, and join us on Facebook. That's it for today. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to clean your home of negative energy and reprogram it with positive energy so that your life starts taking a positive direction.